see them. I know, know we will. We'll 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 but they are here. Yeah, we go. Now we can feed. It's these ones okay, here. Okay. Yeah. Just, just hoy. Just hoy, right? There you go. Woo! Woo! These insects were imported from Louisiana and the reason why we imported them from there is they're not indigenous to Louisiana but in this is Louisiana in the United States they've got this plant as a, as a problematic invasive species and they've got a very good biocontrol program on this plant. This plant and other invasives like it block out the sunlight. If they block out the sunlight into the water body, there can be no oxygen in that water body because the plants in that water body won't be creating oxygen through photosynthesis. If there's no oxygen, there's no fish, there's no crabs, there's no insects. And so you completely destroy or alter the aquatic ecosystem. I would imagine because the quality of the water is so bad that um, it's pure fertilizer uh, for these invasive species. And um, so what really happens is it seems to, um, yeah, it seems to have the effect of um, in about, uh, um, it seems to double its mass in about uh, two to four days, which is absolutely insane. The moment there's a flood okay, from here, all that Savinia is pushed down the river uh, into Hotapuspa Dam. Uh, so it's just a, a never ending cycle. We obviously have to allow the biological process to take its course uh, because this is largely um, uh, you know, a, a, a process of attempting really through this particular process to um, de deal and address the issue of the, of the alien invasive species. So I'll, 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 I'll take Prof Julie's cue on that and say in about a year's time we should be able to start seeing some form of difference. The, the Hyacinth in Hart is, 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 is a very big challenge um, and you would have seen in the earlier presentation that uh, depending on the season uh, you've got more of it as it blooms and then there are certain seasons where um, you know it's, it's, it's hardly there um, and I think for us it's going to be very important as a department to secure our water resource but also what is going to be very important is for us to be able to really get into serious conversations with municipalities in the upper catchment who are largely responsible for the high nutrient load.